Hello, in this video we're going to be covering the logic split, the logic SR latch, briefly the converter, and the vector converter. So, logic split. A logic split has four outputs. The output high is directly linked to the input. The output low is the opposite, kind of like a NOT gate. And the post high is post high when the input turns on. You can't see it here. And the post low is turned high when the input is turned off. We can show this pulses using the signal analyzer. So if we go into signal setup, we can turn on the logic split and then make sure it's enabled, go to signal analyzer and notice we can't play the simulation. We have to just include a logic gate Now we can play. So input high, output high goes high, input low, output low goes high. And when we go over to the signal analyzer, see that when the input goes high, output high goes high. And if we zoom in, we can see there's a short pulse of pulse high and the opposite is true when the input goes low we can see that there's a um, pulse on the pulse low an example to use this would be let's say we have a pneumatic cylinder let's just simulate it using a small component and the inputs to this cylinder let's say we have an extend and we have a retract let's call it a ret retract and the input let's say we only want one signal so this would be extend, retract. We can use the logic split and either the high, low or the post high or low to go to the extend and retract. This means we can use one signal to change two values. So how do we turn on this signal in the inputs? when we're in the station logic. To do this, we go to IO simulator, station signals, and inputs. When we turn on the extend retract, we can see it goes to the logic split, turns output high on, and extend is on, and the retract is off. When we turn this off, it goes output high turns off and output low turns on and therefore this cylinder is retracted. The next small component we're going to look at is the SR latch. The SR latch has two outputs, the normal output and the inverted output. The output turns on when the set is high and it sticks on. So if we press set in the properties, we can see that the set post high and the output is now turned on. When we press reset, the output turns off and the inverted output turns on. The SR latch is useful mainly with using pulses. For example, 
logic split we used earlier we can use the post high to set the SR latch so logic split properties select input say post and the output is on now we can't turn it off how do we turn it off we need to force low the reset so when the input turned low it turned off an example of using the SR latch would be when we're using the simulation events under other so when the simulation starts this signal pulses for a short amount of time but we want to always know that the simulation has started so we can connect the simulation started to set and simulation stop to reset and therefore when we start the simulation we have a output signal that's always on and when we stop the output value is off now we're not going to cover the converter because as you can see at the bottom the converter is no longer needed the converter was used to link properties to the IO signals the next component we're going to look at is the vector converter vector converter converts three single properties into a vector of three so if x is 50 y is 60 z is 70 we apply it we can see that we get the values in this vector down here let's set up an example where this is useful so delete that let's make a cube down here in modeling solid box let's just make a 100 by 100 100 create so we're going to make a small component that moves this box let's rename this to box so modeling smart component and we're going to rename this box positioner and let's drag the box inside the small component this box is going to want to have a x coordinate of a quantity of length and the Z now we can use our vector converter to take these properties X Y and Z and I'm just dragging from the Z and placing it onto the Z as you can see and so if we right click the box positioner properties we can update this x y and z let's say 50 100 and we can see that our values are passed into these properties so 50 millimeters is 0 0.05 meters these are all in meters and then these are converted into the vector and we can use this with a positioner which is located in manipulators positioner and we can drag this vector to the position and we also need to know what to position so we go into properties object and the box that we made and apply great so this box hasn't moved from zero zero that's because we haven't updated or executed this positioner so if we execute it you can see that it's now 
moved. So if we go and just make a update digital input and set it to auto reset. There we go. And we can use this update to execute the positioner. Now, if we go and right click the box positioner properties, and let's just view the station, we can type in any value we want. So let's say 100, 0, and let's say 50. And when we click update, let's apply it first. And now when we click update, this box should move to position. And that is the vector converter. In the next video, we're going to go over the expression, the comparer and the counter. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.